I expected quite a lot of pain and I had a little bit, a reasonable amount, but actually nothing so crazy. It was amazing how how uh, not, not as painful it was as I thought. So the virtual FFS helped me immensely with deciding what procedures I wanted to do and what I wanted to have done. Also, I think there's something like dreamy about um, transitioning and, and your hopes for your transition, especially surgery such as FFS and being able to see that kind of like avatar or like a version of you that could be was super special and really solidified the joy that it brought me to, to see my face looking like that. The 3D approach towards the surgery gave me such a sense of calm because I knew that it was super precise and that especially with the chin and jaw that they knew exactly what was going to be done and this is the same thing with having so many doctors involved in your in your treatment like seeing so many different doctors a rhinoplasty specialist a forehead specialist a hair transplant specialist to see all these people all those different elements add up to a greater sense of comfort for a really important procedure such as FFS. Well, I think that the large financial investment is, um, of course, very difficult for our community um, because a lot of uh, trans women have, don't have access to these types of procedures, but it's obviously costly because of the expertise involved, especially understanding what it is that we need uh, as trans women for feminization rather than for uh, something just purely aesthetic or for cosmetic reasons. Because I did stay in La Villa Marbella, I experienced, I was there two days before and I stayed one day extra and the area is so nice and the food is amazing. I did go in tourist high season and even then it was still <laughs> beautiful and fun and the weather is lovely and the people on the street of La Villa are all such warm, kind, friendly people who will greet you in the morning and when you go for your walk, you, no matter how you look. So it's amazing. My life has changed drastically since the surgery. Um, because before my surgery I was having a hard time with passing which um, unfortunately made my life quality um, really poor and when you walk around and you know people aren't seeing who you are and you know you, you aren't where you're at in your transition it's difficult so to finally have had this procedure and know that wherever I go even if I'm not wearing makeup or I'm just you know, in a very stripped moment that people still see a woman is so important for my self-actualization and it's brought me closer to myself, honestly. And I think also it's not going to eliminate transphobia. It's not going to eliminate that sometimes you're going to be um, clocked by somebody or someone's going to read you as trans. It's not going to eliminate those things, but what it, what it has given me is uh, an easier way to look at myself and love uh, the reflection and to be able to connect the, who I am on the inside with who I am on the outside.